Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. 100 years ago today, the New York Times reported that Earth had a fever. They said there was a worldwide heat wave of unusual length and intensity. It was accompanied by earthquakes, tidal waves, cloudbursts, typhoons, water spouts, hailstorms, floods, and hurricanes in many widely separated parts. Many disasters of recent months ascribed to high temperatures and lack of moisture. They speculated that the very hot and extreme weather might be due to sunspots. And they said that 2 million Koreans were starving in Manchuria owing to drought-ruined crops. Meanwhile, the New York Herald reported death for millions in 1921's record heat wave. Millions of people were starving from the heat and drought in Europe, Russia, and Asia. They said immense areas, usually fertile, dried up in Europe and Asia, and famine stalks helpless people. On October 11, 1921, it was reported that a phenomenal heat wave was being experienced in London. All existing records were broken. In Paris, the temperature has broken the record since 1857. Phenomenal weather in Britain and France. A great part of Europe has literally been sizzling for the last week. Southern England particularly smashing the temperature records. In the October 15th edition of the London newspaper, The Graphic, they ran a story titled, The Cause of Our Sizzling October. They showed that temperatures in Britain were about 30 degrees above average. They said, in the Northern Hemisphere, this abnormal weather is universal. In Eastern Russia, it has caused a colossal tragedy. And they blamed the heat and drought on sunspot maxima. It was reported during the summer of 1921 that Alaska had a two-month-long, unprecedented heat wave. And further south, glaciers were rapidly disappearing in Glacier National Park. In fact, scientists predicted they might be gone by the year 1948. In 1922, the U.S. Weather Bureau reported unprecedented heat in the Arctic. The Arctic seems to be warming up. Reports from fishermen, seal hunters, and explorers who sail the seas about Spitsbergen in the eastern Arctic all point to a radical change in climatic conditions and hitherto unheard of high temperatures in that part of the Earth's surface. Many old landmarks are so changed as to be unrecognizable. Where formerly great masses of ice were found, there are now often moraines, accumulations of earth and stones. At many points where glaciers formerly extended far into the sea, they have entirely disappeared. Formerly, the waters about Spitsbergen held an even summer temperature of about 3 degrees Celsius. This year recorded temperatures up to 15 degrees, and last winter, the ocean did not freeze over even on the north coast. We know that 1921 was a very hot year. Temperatures in October were 30 degrees above normal in England. The Arctic was melting and the ice was disappearing. But despite the record worldwide heat and rapidly melting Arctic ice of 1921, NASA shows 1921 as being one of the coldest years on record. The NASA global temperature graph isn't in the least bit credible. It does not accurately represent the historical record. Now let's look at U.S. temperatures. For afternoon maximum temperatures, 1921 was the second hottest year on record after 1934. But NOAA massively tampers with the U.S. temperature data, and after they're done, the heat of 1921 has largely disappeared. They cooled 1921 by about 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit, and they warmed the year 2020 by about an equal amount. That's about three degrees of data tampering. Before data tampering, 1921 was by far the hottest year in Texas. And some of the worst weather disasters in U.S. history occurred during the year 1921, like the flood in Pueblo, Colorado, which killed 1,500 people. 100 years ago today, the New York Times knew that the weather was extremely hot, extremely dry, and was causing lots of disasters and human misery. They said it was possible that the hot, dry weather was caused by sunspots. And at the same time, the Graphic Weekly in London said that the extreme weather was definitely caused by sunspots. But unfortunately, U.S. government agencies tamper with the data and massively cool the past. In doing so, they destroy scientific inquiry. If academics researching climate change in the year 2021 don't know that it was hotter 100 years ago, they're definitely not going to come to the right conclusions. 
Scientific inquiry has no chance of success when the data they're using is fake. If climate scientists at NASA and NOAA were legitimate, they would want to understand historical weather rather than try to erase it. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this scam for the past 13 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.